G'day folks and welcome back to Bex Basics. Well it's getting on towards late spring and so it's time now to start looking at whether or not we need to harvest our garlic. So today I'm going to show you um, what to look for to see whether it's whether your garlic's ready to harvest or not and what to do just before you harvest it, how you harvest it and then what to do after you harvest it. So here we have a couple of our garlic plants that are growing in this planter here and as you can see some of them are starting to lean over and the leaves are starting to die back. Now once you can start to see that you've got about half of the leaves that have died back, just, and what I mean by die back is that they've just gone brown like this, then it's probably time for your garlic to be harvested. Now it needs to be, it's usually around late spring right, so at the moment it's, it's um, you know only a couple of weeks before we start into summer, um, so it's probably about the right time now and so the plants are doing what you would expect them to do as they're ready to be harvested. Now, what you need to do before you harvest is stop watering your garlic. So for about two or three days beforehand, stop watering the garlic. And what that's gonna do is gonna make it easier to harvest. It's also gonna mean you're gonna have less mud and dirt and, and uh, potty mix left around your garlic. It's just gonna make it easier. It starts it on the drying out um, process. Then once you've done that, after a couple of days of, of uh, no water, it's really just a simple matter of grabbing your garlic and just gently pulling it out of the ground like that and there you see you've got a lovely head of garlic this is a particular type that's got really large cloves um, but if you've got a, a different type it might have um, it might have you know many cloves around it depends on the type you have but you can see that's a lovely head of garlic so i'm just going to go ahead and harvest the rest of those as well okay so here's some of the garlic that we've harvested beautiful big beautiful big heads of garlic now what we want to do is we want to dry them out the first thing we want to do is clean them off so I'm just going to take a watering can with some water you can use a hose I'm just going to wet them off I'm just going to rub some of that soil soil off them as well the potty mix and just clean them up a bit before we're ready to, to store them okay so our garlic's nicely cleaned up now cleaned up all the dirt off it so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to gather that into a nice bunch just going to gather them all into a bunch like that just like that probably tie them up a little bit and just even them out i'm going to tie them together and i'm going to hang them in the sun to dry out okay so as you can see i've just tied them together just with a piece of string i'm going to hang them in a nice sunny spot now you want to leave all the leaves and everything on there just leave all the growth on there because what's going to happen is that the garlic will will um, dry out it needs to suck out all of the nutrients out of those leaves as well and all out of the stalks so that it's completely dry and ready to store and here's some that i've dried out previously as you can see it gets a little bit papery on the outside sometimes the cloves will start to separate a little bit but that's okay because it means they're drying out a bit now um, i tend to cut the the uh, stalks and everything off once they're dry enough you don't have to if you don't want to you can leave it on there but i like to do it too because it tells me whether it's dry enough um, to store as you can see this one here it's still a little bit green in the top there so it needs a little bit more drying before i actually put it away to store but once they're all completely dry you just store them in a, um, a nice airy either box or a nice hessian bag an old orange bag or something an old you know cloth rice bag or something like that and uh, just store it in a nice cool dry place and it'll last for a long time for months and months uh, so that you can use it in your kitchen. So that's how to tell when to harvest your garlic, what to do to harvest it, and how to dry it and store it. Thanks for joining us on Bex Basics, and we'll see you next time.